Hello everyone, did you enjoy Don Machi? If so, here is 5 more anime you will probably want to check out. Stick around until the end of the video for some news on the Konosuma Crimson Legend movie that you might not know. Is it wrong to try to pick up girls in a dungeon, otherwise known as Don Machi? Season 1 originally aired April of 2015, and at the time of this video, the second season just began airing. Danmachi's main attractions would be the Zero to Hero protagonist, the dungeon exploring, and the importance of the familias slash guilds. So what makes Danmachi special? Personally, I would argue absolutely nothing. Danmachi is set in your typical MMORPG type of world, and it's filled with a ton of cliches and unnecessary fan service, including a harem of women drooling over the main character for basically no reason. But even through all that, Danmachi is still extremely entertaining, and I would highly recommend it. Now let's get started with 5 anime like Danmachi. Let's kick this list off with a longer entry, and that is Black Clover. Black Clover began airing October of 2017 and is currently up to 90-ish episodes. In this world, everyone is able to use magic. Well, almost everyone. When our protagonist Asta was a baby, he was abandoned outside a church, alongside his best friend and rival Yuno. In this world of magic, Yuno has a four-leaf clover grimoire and is considered a prodigy, while Asta is still completely unable to use magic. Shortly after receiving his grimoire, Yuno was attacked by a bandit, and Asta stumbled upon the scene attempting to rescue him. Staying true to the shonen genre, Asta gets thoroughly beat down before using the power of friendship to awaken his dormant powers. As this power manifests, Asta receives a mysterious five-leaf black clover grimoire, which gives off a demonic aura, which Asta quickly uses to thrash the bandit. Black Clover continues following the adventures of Asta and Yuno as they continue to work toward becoming the Wizard King. Black Clover hits almost all the key points I pointed out in Don Machi. Asta from Black Clover is extremely similar to Belle from Don Machi. Both protagonists start as a nobody, but quickly power up as they both gain unique abilities that are unheard of in their respective worlds. Now Don Machi completely revolves around the aspect of the dungeon exploring, while Black Clover, on the other hand, focuses on good versus evil with some story arcs taking place inside of magical dungeons. Black Clover has Magic Night Squads, which is the equivalent of Familias in Danmachi. And lastly, both anime have a heavy dose of your typical anime cliches. This anime has its fair share of good and bad moments, but if you would like a longer anime to watch, this is the one for you. Next anime on this list is Maggie, The Labyrinth of Magic. Maggie the Labyrinth of Magic has 25 episodes, followed up by the second season, Maggie the Kingdom of Magic also having 25 episodes, and then lastly, a prequel, Maggie the Adventure of Sinbad containing only 13 episodes. Aladdin is a young magician who has control over a powerful genie. Aladdin decides to leave his home to explore the world, which leads him to make a new friend, Alibaba. After accidentally destroying a local merchant's cart, oops, um, wrong show, Aladdin and Alibaba are left with a major debt to repay. As this debt is much more than either of them could hope to afford, Alibaba suggests they should work together to conquer the local dungeon. In this world, dungeons are known to hold expensive and powerful treasures, but are rarely conquered due to the perils that lurk within them. Maggie is similar to Danmachi because of how significant of a role the dungeons play in driving the plot forward. In Danmachi, how deep Bell goes into the dungeon shows him growing closer to his goal and growing stronger. While in Maggie, capturing a dungeon grants you exceptional power. Other than the dungeons, another similarity would be the slight use of mythology in both shows, being the many different deities shown in Danmachi compared to Maggie containing genies from Arabic mythology. All around, this is just a solid show, so if you haven't saw it, you definitely need to check it out. For anime number 3, I originally wanted to talk about Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash, or maybe the currently airing anime, From Commonplace to World's Strongest. But I talked about both of these in a previous video. Wow, how did that get up there? Anyways, so for anime number 3, I decided to pick Madoka Magica. Hold up, just hear me out, don't skip or leave just yet. First and foremost, if we look on myanimelist.net, this show has the highest rating of all the entries I put on this list, plus it does have dungeon exploring. Yes, this is a magical girl anime, and yes, it only has 12 episodes, but this is far from being considered a kid's show. Story begins with middle school girls Madoka and Sayaka encountering a magical creature named Kube, who offers to grant each of them one wish of anything they want if they are willing to become magical girls. In this universe, magical girls gain the ability to of course use magic, but they are also required to fight against evil witches who seek to kill humans. Before they get a chance to decide on a wish, the new transfer student Hamura, who is a magical girl herself, tells them to forget about the offer, claiming they are being tricked. 
It is very hard for me to really describe this show without spoiling the part of the show that punches you in the gut and reels you in. Just don't go into the show expecting a happy-go-lucky story, as it gets rather dark. Madoka Magica fits into this list because magical girls in this universe must fight their way through dungeons filled with evil creatures in order to find and kill the witches they are after. Now, I suggest paying close attention to this next part. If you decide to watch this show, which you should of course, you need to commit to the first three episodes, and here is why. Episodes 1 and 2 is primarily there to build up the characters in the world, then episode 3 is meant to be the episode that hooks you and reels you in for the ride. I cannot encourage you enough to give this anime a chance. Moving on to number 4, Overlord. This anime has 3 seasons with a total of 39 episodes. Overlord follows a gamer who is the strongest player in the online game Yggdrasil. In game, he is known as Momonga. As midnight approaches on the night the game is scheduled to be shut down, Momonga is logged in waiting for the server to crash. But instead of being kicked out of the game, he finds himself trapped inside the game unable to log out. Momonga still has his human consciousness, but he feels as though it is being suppressed by his in-game character's undead mentality. He also begins noticing the NPCs inside the game have each acquired their own unique personality. Realizing the situation he is in, Momonga decides the best course of action is to continue acting as his in-game character, the undead lord Momonga, who rules over the great tomb in Nazarick. Overlord takes your typical dungeon exploring scenario and sort of flips it on its head. Instead of following the hero who conquers the dungeon, it follows the villain as he protects his dungeon and begins expanding his territory. Overlord's only direct similarity to Dan Machi would be the video game styled setting, as the protagonist and the characters are both entirely different. That being said, I would argue if you enjoy watching a hero explore a dungeon, chances are you will enjoy watching an undead dungeon lord explore the world. Of course, I saved the most similar entry for last, which is Tower of Draga. Tower of Draga originally aired April of 2008 and has two seasons with 12 episodes each. Tower of Draga follows the young adventurer known as Jill. Jill dreams of climbing to the top floor of the Tower of Draga in order to defeat the evil god and obtain the blue crystal rod. At the beginning of the anime, he gets kicked out of his party and struggles to find new allies. Eventually, Jill is able to find a new party and they begin their ascent up the tower, fighting monsters and growing stronger along the way. So for this anime, let's just run a side-by-side -side comparison with Don Maji. First, Protagonist is unable to join a party because he is seen as weak and inexperienced. Protagonist then unexpectedly stumbles across a unique group who allows him to join. As the group begins their adventure, they accumulate more allies and begin exploring deeper into the dungeon. Protagonist then begins to struggle, but luckily he gets a skilled adventurer to train him. After this, the protagonist along with his party gets significantly stronger and begins exploring deeper and deeper into the dungeon. Now, to be honest, this anime is far from my favorite, but on paper it does have a lot of similarities with Don Machi. Just to reiterate, both shows have a zero to hero style protagonist, and the plots are both centered around the dungeon. Tower of Draga does not have guilds, but Jill starts out in a weak party, similar to how Belle starts out in a weak familia. Even though I don't care for this anime, I do have to give it credit for the very first episode, because I found it to be hilarious. Now, I am not saying Tower of Draga is a bad anime, but for whatever reason, I personally just couldn't get into it. If you have watched Tower of Draga all the way through, Comment down below on this video, and let me know what you thought about it and if I should force myself to give it another attempt. Okay, now let's talk about the Konosuba movie for a moment. It has been common knowledge for a while that a Konosuba movie has been in the works. The problem is, for us here anime fans in the West, we never really know if we're going to get a chance to see it in theaters, and most of the time we just have to wait for the DVD release. Now, we got lucky this time. At Anime Expo, Crunchyroll announced they have acquired the rights to the movie Konosuba Crimson Legend, and will be bringing it to us viewers here in the West. Now, the movie airs in Japan in August 30th of this year, and sadly they haven't really put a date on when it's coming to us here in the West, but we can be sure it's on the way, so we have that to look forward to. Back on the topic of anime like Don Machi, if you have already watched all these shows, then two more anime similar to Don Machi I would recommend for you would be From Common Place to World's Strongest and Grimgar of Fantasy and Ash. Now, as I previously mentioned, I already talked about both these shows in my previous video titled Five Anime Like the Rising of the Shield Hero. So if you are interested, you should definitely check out that video and it should be on screen here in a minute for you to click on. If you are still tuned in this late in the video, let me tell you, I truly appreciate it and for reaching 100 subscribers, I have purchased a webcam to use for future videos. Also, I have created a Facebook group for general anime content. 
be it memes, videos, or discussions, just really anything you want to share. And it should be on screen right about now, so go look it up if you want. Feel free to join, and I look forward to talking to you. Now, I would like to hear your opinions on this video. Tell me what you liked, maybe what I need to improve on. Either way, if you want to see more videos like this one, hit that subscribe button. And above all else, have a great day, and I will see you next time.